or the Beatles. Can we skip? Okay. It's kind of icy. Good morning guys, Leilani here with Backcountry Wahine. And we are starting an adventure with my three buddies. At Nat, Adam, and Wes. The core four. The core four. And we are headed to a hot springs. It's gonna be about a 10 mile trek today. Um, there hasn't been many um, updates about the trail, so we're not really sure what we're in for here. We don't have snowshoes, so hoping the ice and snow situation isn't too bad, but we're about, uh, I don't know, 200 yards in and we're already coming up on some ice on this road. So not looking great, but we'll see. We're in for an adventure, that's for sure. I don't like this sign. Adam always wants to see the animals, so no cougars for me, please. If they show up, attack the one with the blue styrofoam pad, please. Old campground that got washed out, so we're on a bypass trail. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Here's the washout. Wow. There is a lot of black ice. A little hard to tell, but it's very slippery and it keeps changing. So we haven't been to the point to put the spikes on yet. Ooh, ooh, that's slippery. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm stuck. This is called hair ice. Almost happens because of a fungus. Pretty interested, but it's ice. So cool, it looks like cotton. Okay, we got riddles here. What goes up, but never comes down. This is what will occupy us for the next few minutes. I knew I heard something. Such a cute face. So we got some rose hips. Usually this is the best time to pick them when they get frosty. Maybe a little more shriveled because the sugars will concentrate. It's a little oh, too this one's bitter actually. Oh, the shriveled one. This is usually what you want. These are really high in vitamin C, mm -hmm. or you can throw them in for your tea. A lot better. If you get the shriveled one, it has a lot more flavor because they're kind of flavorless a lot of times. Slightly astringent. Not my favorite, but if you don't have anything or if you're sick, it's good. So this is a dam that they actually um, took out. If you guys had watched the Patagonia documentary, Damnation, this is uh, the one that they showcased in the documentary. Pretty cool. So it's to help the salmon flourish. I see all this. But apparently they're gonna reevaluate for fishing come 2022. See if that's something they want to, to do. But talk about look at that man. Wow. What a journey that these fish have to make. Ooh, 
Ooh, I tell you that mist is really cold. I think that definitely makes most random things on a trail. Okay, somebody create a story. With a brush? Who murdered who with a brush and a century link koozie? In the ballroom. <laughs> the brush. With the and the koozie. With the broom top. That's weird. Is it sketch? Yeah. This is the other piece to the, the broom <laughs> and the koozie. What are we getting into? I don't know. What this is, is turning us? into a whole yeah, new. This is like a whole new. <laughs> wow. Is it sharp? Maybe we should hold on to it. We think that's a cat. See, it wasn't funny, it's kind of just safe. Yeah. That's no, not. No. I'm a size of <laughs> for uh -huh. reference. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it and then it moves its head. Whoa. Somewhere. Yeah, like the mud, mm -hmm. too. Now we're there, to there, to there, to there. Oh, he's there. Ay -ay! <laughs> That's the call of the cougar. Is that it? In case you guys didn't know. Helps tracking or stepping in each other's steps. Well, I think we are almost to the trailhead. Um, and then from there, it should only be about two miles. So hopefully it won't be so much snowpack like this road, but we'll see. Yay, the trailhead. I was really hoping the trail would have been a little different, you know, maybe a little more shaded from the trees, but this looks pretty crappy. It's exhausting. It is. <sighs> Two wow. more miles. 2.2. 2. Nice job, Wes. Friends and hiking buddies are for. So good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Pretty, uh, deep snow here but luckily two people with snowshoes came by so they kind of helped path down the trail a little bit. Probably would have been a good idea to have some snowshoes. Made it a lot easier anyway. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> <What's life? laughs> uh. crazy. So should almost be there. These little icy patches are kind of sketch. Oh, he needs hot water. Uh, I think this takes so long, I guess. So. Yeah. 
so guys mm -hmm. that is my uh prototype for my stove sleeve which you can buy on my etsy page backcountry provisions no s <laughs> Etsy wouldn't let me make it with the S, so it's backcountry provision, one word when you search. Finished eating, and now we are going to look for the hot springs. Should be somewhere around here, hopefully uh, we can find it okay. There's one uh, specific pool that's supposed to be really good. Here's uh, one of them, hard to see. Uh, it's not the one we want though. Mm, this is a, it. It's the furthest one, but it's not very deep. Yeah, really weird. That's hard to see. <laughs> it's six o'clock! <laughs> you can sit here for like three, four hours and still go see the reasonable time. Hello. I can see you guys now. Hi. Ooh, that is nice. It's squishy on the bottom, but it's warm. Oh, is it higher? And it, it definitely oh, smells so free. Okay, we're gonna do a cocktail here that I have never done. Hopefully, it tastes good. We're doing unsweetened cocoa powder. Um, some of this coconut creamer. Um, macadamia nut liqueur, dark rum, and yeah, that's it. So kind of like a, uh, you know, coconut hot chocolate with like the macadamia nut. We shall see. Seven, two tablespoons. I can't even see in there. Let me see it. Turn this up. Oh, there we go. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> oh no. Not warmer, can you see? Oh, yeah. oh, tell me when. <laughs> uh, don't kill me. <laughs> it's like a, I don't know. I don't know. You can always add right. more, I guess. Yep, I think we're good. Yeah. Yes. Happy 2022! Yeah, we added a little more cocoa powder. That was better. Yeah, that's what it is. All the inventory. Get my ring. My friend made me. It turned black in the sulfur. Sorry, Mandy. You need to shine it for me. It's fixable. I don't know. Some kind of chemical reaction because it's silver. First time trying it. It looks good though, I thought. Good morning, guys. It is 8 a.m. We were planning to leave here at about this time but it started raining about two hours ago so oh it's gonna make for a fun day especially there's a pass that was really icy yesterday that I didn't film because it was too sketchy and we're a little concerned about that so pray for us we'll see how it goes <laughs> yeah and we've got a couple of bridges and creeks the creeks I'm not so worried about but yeah the bridge, the bridge. The ice, there's like an icy um log bridge pass just a skinny log yeah i think uh should put the yak tracks on for that mm. not wanting to get out of this warm sleeping bag i would say probably high 20s somewhere in the 30s last night it's pretty cold and we're sleeping on snow too so which we also didn't expect Kind of dumb. I don't know why I didn't <laughs> think about that's the snow hitting the tent. Um, just didn't expect that much snow. Probably would have been much more of a pleasant trip if we had snowshoes and 
a foam pad. But I was actually warm, so I'm okay. But I, don't, I think I'm the one who slept the best because I've got this negative 20 degree bag. <laughs> I didn't stir this yet. Okay. Because I don't have my thing out, so you still probably want to Thank you. Thank you, cafeteria worker. <laughs> Thank you. And we were joking about blueberries, but you gave us some blueberries. Wes is carrying blueberries because he was going to make pancakes this morning. But nobody want to make pancakes in this kind of weather. Is there service right across the way? How's my coffee coming? Uh, I think yours is about done. Woohoo! Churro. Donka. Raining pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> nope. um, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, but mine is too cool, so. <laughs> Thank you. This is pretty good. It's just a little sweet, I'd say. But I like it more than oatmeal. And it's granola. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. My tent like do. We're about to come up on that part that I said was really sketchy. I think we can all breathe a sigh of relief once we get past it. <sighs> Just kind of uh, nervous because it was icy and we got all this rain, so we're worried about it being really slick. Also, so far it's much better going this morning because uh, we're walking in our footsteps from yesterday plus the snowshoers left last night so they packed it down even more so it's, it's nicer than we expected so sketchy it's very icy and these guys <gasps> Adam! maybe that's why they're the best hiking partners they really take care of us man kind of fallen everywhere is called lungwort. It is a type of lichen and it's really good for your lungs. So great to make a tincture. Um, I just do a little organic vodka and let it sit for like two months and then strain it and then you can use it when you're not feeling well. And this is my forager's bag. This is the prototype. So I've got those going on my Etsy as well. A little better looking than this guy though. But I made it detachable so you can wash it. You don't have to worry about the leather. And it attaches to your belt buckle or you have the option of doing both. So you don't have to have a belt, you can also do it to your belt buckle. I also made this out of wax uh, duck canvas, so it's kind of weatherproof, good for your mushrooms. So this here, a lot of it downed right now because of this down tree. This is called usnea or old man's beard, also really medicinal, um, great for fire starting. You can dry it out and keep it in your pocket and then use it later. But um, 
can, it has kind of a stretchy quality to it there. You can see. Great medicinal. So, with uh, Osnia, you can also do the same thing like you do with the lungwort. You just put it in some vodka and you let it sit for a little bit and make a tincture out of it. And when you're sick, just do a couple of drops in your, like your tea or your morning coffee. Really, really good stuff. And I try to look for it like on the ground, falling down versus, you know, growing on the trees. But you see it everywhere. Kind of looks like a Spanish moss, but like I said, it has that stretchy quality to it. So you can test that out. But you know, you can see on the ground here, it's, it's everywhere. Also, I don't think I've ever gave you a backstory on my friends there. We all met, we were former coworkers, so we all worked for the same airlines and just love the outdoors. And we took a pretty big trip out to Peru right before COVID happened. And we just really work well together as a group. Um, everybody kind of has their strengths and weaknesses and we all play off each other really well and also our hiking pace is similar which is really nice. Great group of friends but those are my adventure buddies so always fun when the four of us can get together and it doesn't get to happen too often when it's everyone so it's been a really nice trip. Gotta be the top. Yeah, one little bypass trail. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the bypass. Almost there. Here we are at the end. We did it. We did it. Thanks guys for watching. Be sure to hit like, share, subscribe. See you later. Bye. Adios. Also, if you were wondering what the answer to the riddle was, it is your age.